What is up guys? I am back and not really sure how long I'm going to be back for at least long enough to make this video new character Mortal Kombat 11. We got Nightwolf and I'm sure everybody knows dude YouTube has absolutely ripped apart the channel ripped apart Mortal Kombat 11. I honestly have absolutely no idea how people make Mortal Kombat videos. People that have tons of subscribers, tons of followers, tons of all that stuff. I guess once they get through all the BS that uh, YouTube is does, I guess they still get plenty of, but I don't. I don't. It's really hard, but I'm still going to make this video because it's Nightwolf and I want to do something, right? I want to continue doing something. So I might as well, while I'm trying to figure this out or whatever, man, I tell you, not only Mortal Kombat 11, but all the Injustice 2 that, that WBN or WGN or whatever it was it has gone through every single Injustice video and tried to copyright strike all of those for the music in the background. Every single Mortal Kombat video, every single everything I've ever done for the past like two years, completely copyright. So I've been like saying fuck it and just haven't done anything, but... I don't know. I'm going to figure something out. I'm going to I've been doing like sports chant sports stuff on the other channel. If anybody's interested in checking that out, uh, if you do watch sports, but we're going to get into Nightwolf, right? Like I have not really played this game very much. Uh, I was going to put this out yesterday, but or the day before. I don't know whenever this comes out, but on the very first day it was released, I couldn't actually play it. I don't know what was wrong with Xbox. It wouldn't let me play it, but uh now I can, so I might as well do this. Okay, so we got Nightwolf. This is going to be stage one. Same exact thing that we did before, right? We're going to go through this. We're going to check out all the gear, the skins, the brutalities, the fatalities. I'm not going to cut out anything. And sorry about the, you know, the, the I, I didn't put any tags on this video. I didn't even put on the, the, the title of it, you know, with anything. Just because I want to see if it gets striked if uh if i don't even put anything that has to do with mortal kombat just the video itself anyways let's summon this bad boy let's see the very first one of course time of death is going to be the very first thing if chronica saw you as a threat then you must be destined to thwart her harness the power of the great spirit to restore history for the sake of matoka and all humanity let's go baby um Man, it's been a long time since I've done one of these. I really have not played Nightwolf at all. I don't even know what he's about. I've seen some of his stuff. I haven't watched too much stuff, but this is going to be all new for me. We got gear. Oh, that headpiece looks awesome. I like the mask. His little, I don't even know what it is. His staff, his axe, his uh, axe. It looks like an axe to me. Anyway, uh, more skins, more fatalities, intros, taunts, all of that stuff. Nice. So stage one gives us three different loadouts, which is again, very similar to Shang Tsung. And I'm telling you, I'm already liking this gear. Very first one. Oh yeah. Headdress, war club, tomahawk. I should have been able to get the tomahawk thing, right? But uh, anyways, headdress, plains dweller. I am digging the bear on top. Super cool. We got a mask as well. These colors on this skin look really good. So, so far I have not looked at all of the other stuff that you know is available to unlock yet so i kind of want it to be a surprise anyways war club i think this one yeah this is the one that has a little like a uh, skull i guess on the end of it kind of looks okay nothing really to it i guess kind of an old club got some spikes on it and stuff uh pretty neat though hawk's eye for the tomahawk of course you know, it would be kind of neat if he like did some scalping or something. I don't know. But uh, just your regular axe or tomahawk or whatever. Kind of rusted. Got some blood on it, which is pretty cool. The skin overall is called Wolf's Wrath. And this skin looks pretty sweet. I love the colors. Love the gray. Love the little thing in the front. His straps going across. Got some armor and stuff. So uh, overall, I'm really digging this skin. Really digging the colors. Second loadout, we got the headdress Selfish Shaman. And this is very similar to the last headdress we got with the little bear wolf. Actually, you know what? Looking at this one, it kind of looks like a wolf. Maybe it's not a bear, but a wolf. But anyway, got the teeth in the front, uh, lighter color, got the blue, the mask is the blue. Of course, that has to do with the skin instead, but uh, pretty much overall the same exact one. We got the nail claw for the war club. This one's okay. Again, I haven't really seen too many that I thought were amazing as far as the war clubs go, but still okay. And then we got his axe, Lupine, which is 
I don't know. Looks like an axe. Not much to it. Looks clean. Looks like he has yet to chop anybody's heads off, which uh, it shouldn't be like that. It should be covered in blood because that's what we want to see. We want to see gruesome stuff so we can absolutely get every single thing demonetized ever that we ever put out. Anyway, skin Mindful Hunter, which is the same skin as the original, just blue in color, same skin as the last one. Last one was gray. I think the original is kind of blue too. Yeah, blue and I guess brown or whatever. But uh, this one's all blue, which I really like. I mean, I like the color blue, the little aqua. Last of the loadouts, and this one looks really good too. I can't decide if whether or not I like the first one or the last one, or I just actually put them in order. Uh, you know, the order in which I got them is the order I made the, uh, the loadouts and stuff. So I'm really not sure which one might work best with other ones. But still, really liking all three of them. Intrepid Warrior is the helmet. This reminds me, I guess, of Shao Kahn's kind of. Especially with the, got a little skull on the front, another mask and everything. I like the ones with the mask. These look really good. And then we got the Fury of Matoka as his uh, war club. Kind of brown, I guess. Got some designs on it. Looks like a little bear paw on the front, which looks pretty neat. Then we got the bear's paw for the actual tomahawk. Kind of funny how that led into there. And again, no blood. Where's all the blood at? And then I guess on the back of it. Oh, wait, maybe around the handle. Handle looks kind of red, I guess. But then we have his skin touched by the spirit. Very first of these types of skins. I, I'm digging it. Like the pants. Like the shirt, the vest, the the boots, the arm guards, especially the colors look good. I love the old ancient tribe thingy that he got going on. Got the little belt on there. The little bear paw on the front of his t-shirt looks really cool. Something like that my little kid would wear, but still looks nice. The taunt is called the Pack Hunter, and of course we got a new intro. It is Bird of Prey. I need to get me one of those little hawks that come out and fly on your arm and stuff, except I don't really like birds. Backwards head. Oh, there we go. Let's get the bear to rip him apart. Look at all that guts and blood and everything flying everywhere. Man, that looks good. Okay. Well, um, that is his fatality, which I'm sure everybody has seen, and that is comatose, which you get in the first stage. Although I did unlock it while I was going through stage one. I don't know why, but uh, anyways, yeah. Bonus! You know what? Why get demonetized for one thing when you can get demonetized for two? That is his brutality, which you do not get in any of the stages that is just automatically given to you called Skullcracker, I think it was. That was pretty cool, I like that. Stage two, what lies beneath? I'm excited to see some new brutalities. So this should be pretty good, the pride of the Matoka. Okay, Shang Tsung takes many forms and will take the, they will take them all in order to steal the mantle of Nightwolf from you. He must never possess your power. Beware of everyone, even your allies. Yeah, of course, because Shang Tsung can transform into anybody. You never know, even if it's your closest friend, he might just be him. So we have, uh, who are we facing off in the end? Of course, Shang Tsung. So we got skin, we got brutality, taunt, victory, which is nice. Of course, a bunch more gear and skins, which is always good. So we got more head dresses with, uh, I'm curious what that one looks like. It's kind of hard to see with that tiny icon. But more loadouts, lots of more loadouts. That one has a mask on it, which looks kind of cool. I like, I like all of his uh, head dresses. Those look good. Excited to see some more skins too. Hopefully he has more than three. Shang Tsung didn't really have a wide variety of gear, you know what I mean? Stage two, another three loadouts and an extra skin, so can't complain about all of the good stuff. Um, first loadout, headdress, sacred peak. This looks pretty sweet, especially on a lot of the other skins. There was the skin that we had in the last stage, the very first one, the white one that was, uh, you know, he was all like with paint all over him and stuff. Man, it looked super cool. It looked really good in that one. But still, this one looks nice on this skin with the, with uh, just how it is now. I love the blue. Love the little teeth on the top. I love his hair like this and the little bun. Looks nice. Panther Strike. War Club. 
I haven't really found too many of these that I thought were awesome. I mean, these are cool, but um, I mean, this one's kind of cool too. I like the blades on it. I like how it looks. I like the designs of them, but I don't know. They just haven't been crazy awesome um, like a lot of his other stuff. I like the I like his uh, tomahawks. I like his um, his headdresses and his skins look really nice. This axe looks pretty axe tomahawk. This tomahawk looks pretty awesome. I love the blade on the end. Still needs some blood. Looks clean though. I love the rope all around it. This skin is called Force of Nature, our very first one of these. So wait, is this one? Oh, Proud Tribesman. That one's locked. I don't even know why I checked that. Anyways, um, our very first one of these, which looks really good. I love the pants of it. I love how he doesn't have a shirt. I like his little vest on there with the headdress on there. I mean, it just looks really clean. The boots look nice. The color blue, all of it looks really good. So definitely dig that one. Second loadout, we got the Sun Bear, a different headdress. So I love all the variety. All of the variety is really nice. Except with this one, it doesn't really fit the skin quite as much just because that, I guess the blue on the front just doesn't change color with the skin. But still, the spikes on the top look really cool. Got a little headband around there. The mask on the front, like a little Sub-Zero type of thing. Um, yeah, I, I like it. That's a good looking one. We got the Cougar's Jaw for his War Club. And yeah, it seems like the basic design of these look pretty similar. Like with that blade that comes out of the side or whatever. The top piece does look a little bit different, but oh, I just noticed on his uh, skin, he has like blades around his forearms. That's kind of cool. And then the last one, the tomahawk, the fox glove. Another one with a skull on the top of it, which I really like. This one looks kind of rusted. Blue handle though looks really neat. I like the spikes on his on his uh, gloves right there, his uh, bracers or whatever you want to call them. But uh, looks like maybe like a rock material for his tomahawk looks nice. Skin is called the Bad Wolf. And like I said, it didn't really fit the blue headdress with the rest of the skin. Although, I don't know, maybe that blue part is part of it because kind of his arms look a little bit blue or painted blue and his chest looks a little bit blue. I don't know, maybe it goes with it. But still overall, I mean, I like every one of his skins pretty much. I like just about every one of his headdresses that I've seen. The tomahawks look cool. His clubs even, I mean, they look okay, but uh, still, man, all of this stuff has been looking pretty nice. Last of the loadouts, we got another one with the little cub paw on the front. It is so cute, but he looks like a youngster in here. I mean, just like a young kid almost. Headdress is called for the Falcon Crest and another different one. I can't say this is probably my favorite one that I've seen. This is probably the least of my favorites out of all the ones, but I still like all the variety. So having variety is really nice. And that's our first one of those. So, you know, I'll take it. Growling Dog is the War Club. This one looks cool. I do like this one. I like how, I don't know, it just looks like a toy, especially with the club or the little bear paw on the front. It just looks like a nice little toy that I would let, you know, my kid play with and uh, run around the backyard or whatever chasing squirrels and trying to I think that'd be fun I mean I would I don't like squirrels so um, the more gone is definitely better we got whoops I didn't mean to do that the tomahawk is the man uh, man something this one looks a lot different too I like the colors the orange the red the blade on the front that looks really neat I really like that one we got the cosmetic Wolf's Claw is the name of the skin. This is our, is this the same one as the Wolf's Wrath? No, this is the different one, okay. So same one as the Touch, no. Yes, same one as Touched by the Spirit. Okay, just different colors. So Wolf's Claw, it is the one with the bear paw on it, but I still like it. I mean, I still like the pants. I like the other one with the pants, probably a little bit better with no shirt on and stuff. The vest, I think, looks a little bit better, but this one makes him look a little bit younger though, so that's kind of neat. And then the other skin that was available, I guess the one that they gave you that didn't really go with all the other stuff. So there was four total skins, three complete loadouts, four total skins. This is the other skin. What was it called? Uh, Akala, Akala or something. Same one as the original skin, except it is, I guess, the default skin, except just another different color, like a turquoise with some purple. I love all the war paint above his chest, all the red and everything. It looks really nice. Oh, 
cut his legs right off. That was pretty awesome, dude. Does a little spirit wolf dive roll into his uh, little um, uh, tomahawk, whips that thing out, chops off his legs. That was pretty awesome. That is a called no leg to stand on or maybe it's no legs to stand on since he got both of them i can't remember all right so it's on to stage three we got soul nato vengeance and we did not get a taunt or a victory or an intro or anything in the last stage i can't remember if i mentioned that as we went through it but it was just the brutality anyway soul nato vengeance you thought you sent noob Saibot to his death in a storm of souls, but the soul, soul NATO that should have destroyed noob Saibot only made him stronger. Now he seeks revenge. Fight. All right, so we got another brutality. Of course, that is awesome. We got another extra skin, another victory, another taunt, and hopefully three full loadouts. We got the headpiece. We got his little club, we got his uh, tomahawk, a skin, so that's really nice. We got lots of, let's see, there's two, and then the last one, which, so it looks like three full sets. Again, total blood spell. Man, I hate this one. Three more sets and an extra skin in stage three. Foothills Protector is the headdress, and still my least of favorites of all of his headdresses. Not really anything to it, just looks like he has a little helmet on. Um, I guess he has little things on the side of it, but I uh, don't really like that one that much. But anyway, War Club, the Day Strike. This one's kind of neat. I like uh, I like the bones. I like the wrappings. I like the blood on there. That looks good. We have the Cocklebur, which interesting name. And uh, yeah, it looks like a you know a tomahawk, right? Got a little blade on the end. It got some again wrappings, like it was made a long time ago by ancient war tribes or whatever, which is cool. I like that. The skin is called Cry Wolf, and with this with this headdress on there, with that little helmet, it kind of looks a little weird to me. I don't know. The colors are okay. The skin itself is okay, but I don't know. Just not with that uh, with that headdress on there. I would definitely pick something else. Second one, on the other hand, love this loadout. This is really cool. Out of the woods is the headdress, and man, that face paint looks sick i love the white i love the dark down the middle the red around it the black covering the eyes i mean that is awesome i love the little headband around the top of it looks really good black tooth is the war club and this is pretty cool i like the design of this one almost looks like it would be a big old sword or, so, or like a sword kind of on there except it has the blade which looks neat. I like the design of that and uh, the blade looks good too. Definitely cut somebody up. And then the tomahawk, the guy or falcon or whatever, looks good. Another good looking tomahawk. I like most of these. I like most of the headdresses. And even, I guess, the, the little clubs are starting to grow on me, I guess, the more that I look at them. Even though we are running into some that are duplicates. This skin, which I really like, is called Dark Mantle. Looks good, man. The red, the green, the paint down the sides. Actually, you know what? Is it the paint? Okay, so I guess the I guess I guess um, the headpiece was not the paint. You know, now that I was going through it or whatever, I started thinking, you know what? I bet the skin is part of the face paint since it matched so well right but uh it still looks really good with that headdress and i like this skin because of the face paint and the arms you know the paint looks good on there the red the the green the boots look nice so overall this skin one of my favorites for sure and then the last of them another uh another <laughs> dude this headdress this orange looking thing um, I don't know. I like the other one. I kind of like the other one that had the little spikes on the top of it, but uh, I don't know. This kind of does remind me of a little bird or like a little falcon or something like that. But I don't know. Just maybe the bright color orange and the yellow and it just, I don't know. It just looks like a bicycle helmet or something like something that you're going to go racing on a bicycle. Moonbringer is the club and um yeah, I think we've had one that looked very similar to this one. This one really doesn't have too much of a design. Kind of looks like little metal pieces 
fit together, but uh, almost looks like that little blade can be taken in and out. Nightshade is the tomahawk, and if we can ever get to it, yeah. So I think this one looks kind of familiar too as well. Is this one just like the, no. I was thinking that it kind of looked like the one that we got in stage one, but still a little bit different and variety is always good. Still no blood, but that's all right. Cosmetic, the Hawoka or something like that. Um, not a bad skin. I like this skin, just the headdress. I I would switch out that that uh, headpiece on there for something else, maybe with the bands or maybe even, I don't know, with a mask or something like that, the ones that has the little uh, mask on the front. But the jeans look good, the, the, the vest, the no shirt, the ties around the arms look really nice. There was another skin too called Bravest Face. Changes the headdress to blue which again looks a little weird um has a cute bear paw on the front of his jeans dirty uh boots look nice and um overall though i mean all of these skins look pretty good a couple of the headdresses though i could live without new taunt for stage three trackers guile we did get a new victory called the matoken heart looks like it's gonna be kind of cool i like the little icon there we go. I like the little lightning coming down. We got a little, almost like a spirit flame, which is the name of the victory in the ne next one. But uh, still, I like the little blue. I like how it lit up the tomahawk. Kind of neat. <laughs> Dig into his dome. Yeah, that's... Uh, Night Wolf's Brutality Native Violence. That uh, Tomahawk put in some work on Old Boy's face, didn't it? Um, I, I like that one. Kind of reminded me of, who was it? Was it um, Sonia? No, not Sonia. Cassie Cage. When Cassie Cage jumped on top of him and just started pounding on the dude's face. Yeah. Stage four, we got Winter's Breath. The Kwai Lang you knew was a respectful warrior, but that doesn't make him an ally in every timeline. A far less noble Sub-Zero has come seeking to rule history with an icy hand. So uh, I guess I'm assuming Sub-Zero. All right. So we got another intro skin, another brutality awesome taunt. I'm assuming three more gear loadouts, which is cool. I really like that skin. That is probably one of my favorites. Um, another one with the mask. Okay, I wanted some more. I wanted some more headdresses with the mask. All right, so the stage four stuff, the headdress, the great spirits chosen. And normally when I would say that this headdress does not look very well, it actually looks kind of good with this skin. The colors look good together. The overall, I guess, appearance kind of goes really good with this skin. So I'd have to say, that even though a lot of these I said that I really didn't like, some of them actually look pretty good with the um, with the skin, depending on you know which one it's with or whatever. But the orange and the yellow and the I guess bronze and gray and blue and all that stuff looks good. I like it, especially with the war paint and everything on the front. The War Club Warriors Wrath, another one that looks like a stick, but this one got a little paw on it, got some other emblems, little crosses or X's, maybe kills. I don't know and then the end of course like a bronze knife looking thing and then we got the eagle talons tomahawk this is a pretty cool looking one as well again uh handle looks nice no blood though we want to see the blood but still looks good i kind of wish on a lot of his moves and stuff when he does like his uppercut and a lot of stuff with his club and his tomahawk you really can't see him because he like swings it so fast um, I kind of wish there were some of them in which you could see a little bit better. But uh, the skin, Injured Spirit, which is a good one. I like, I really like this skin. Probably, actually, I think this is probably my favorite skin out of all of them. Um, not necessarily maybe these colors, but the skin overall really looks good. I really like this one. I really like the paint. The armor looks nice. Little one shoulder pad. The boots look good. I like the little spikes uh, that's going through the end of his arms or his little gauntlet. Um, but yeah, looks really nice. And then we got his second loadout, which is Headdress Valor of the Plains. Another good looking one. I like the ones that have the mask on the front. Again, you could probably switch a lot of these out. I just go in the order in which I got them and put the loadouts together how they are. 
But uh, this probably look a little bit better, maybe on some other skins. Uh, maybe like the skin that we just had before. But still, I like this skin a lot too. Most of these skins look really nice. With the Western Wildcat. Uh, blue handle on there. Another bronze looking knife. All of these look like kind of swords with knives on them. But uh, most of them still look kind of different. So I like that. Eagle Hawk is the tomahawk we get. And I like the feathers on the end of it. Kind of like the eagle feathers with the orange and the gold. End of it is gold. The handle looks nice too. So uh, pretty cool looking tomahawk. The skin, Plains Huntsman. Nice skin. Jeans, jacket, or his vest or whatever. Got his little uh, armband around there. Like how I like the colors, the, the blue and the orange look good. The boots look nice as well. All of that looks nice. Last of the last of the loadouts, darkening skies for his uh, headdress. This is another one that looks pretty good. This one can almost go on just about any of the skins. Bandana around the front, a little bit longer though. I kind of think I like the headdress one that has the in the bun. I would say. Spirit Force is the club that we get, which looks okay. I don't really like, I guess, the yellow color of it, and I don't know. Most of the other clubs look a little bit better. Speeding Raptor is the Tomahawk. Not too bad, a little bit plain, but still, I like the handle of it. I like the little circle in the middle, the ropes that wrap around it, and uh, I guess like the axe looking thing on the end. Still looks okay. My token heart is the skin. Colors look okay, and uh, kind of like an old, older version of him. It almost looks like, almost looks like an older version. Even though it seems like it's the same person, like some of them, especially the one with the bear paw on the front, it makes him look a little bit younger. This one makes him look a little bit older. But uh, not a bad skin overall. And there was one more skin we got, which was called, if I could find it, uh, Wind Talker. This was the other skin we got. Jeans, blue, another one with the bear paw on the front, but uh, I guess maybe with the headdress, it makes them look a little bit older when this one. This was the one I was thinking of that kind of make them look young, but uh, it actually doesn't. The taunt for this stage is called the Axe Flipper, and we got a new intro, Tomahawk. All right, sharpening up the blade a little bit. <laughs> Well, uh, definitely obliterated her with her, uh, with the little spirit. That was kind of cool. Um, that is his new brutality, Night Wolf's new, not Night Wolf's, Night Wolf's new brutality. That is called Faithful Obliteration. Final stage, stage five, Rider on the Storm, man. I think I've been going at this like about 10 hours straight right now. I am definitely ready to get this one done. Um, last one, like I said, Rider on the Storm. And uh, a deluded Raiden from a bleak future is invading your timeline, seeking to reign over Earthrealm. Challenge him and his corrupted followers. Restore sanity. So uh, we do not get, oh no, we do get another Brutality right to the heart, which uh, hopefully, man, that'll be his Tomahawk, just, mm, just chopping right through the heart, man, that'd be nice. Another skin, victory, another intro, of course, we got three loadouts, I'm sure, facing Raiden, total wins, 75, this is probably the second longest one. Stage three and stage five are the longest one, two, and four don't take very long at all, but these these two stages definitely take the longest. Fatalities, brutalities, but a whole bunch of more nice gear. So uh, yeah, let's get this one done. All right, last bit of the gear: a stage five headdress, my token summit, another one with the little headband on the front. I do like these, so you know I don't mind. Obviously, they're just different colors and stuff. Doing all of these in a row, man, I'm really starting to see a lot of the same gear over and over again. But I've noticed that at least the War Clubs, I'm liking more and more as I see. I like this one. It has two spikes on it instead of just one. Got the little rubber bands around the end. Almost like, looks like a little hockey stick, sort of. Uh, maybe even one of those old school, I don't know, golf clubs. Like they would play like in the 1920s or something. Anyways... 
Diving Falcon. This is the exact one. I do recognize this one actually from uh, a stage or two ago, except it was a different color. I don't think it had blood on it either, but uh, still cool. All silver and the skin is called Native Power. We've gotten a bunch of these and actually with the headdresses and stuff, we haven't gotten very many ones that had a mask on the front or at least a face guard or whatever you want to call it. But uh, Native Power, Again, you know, I like all of his skins, so that's cool. Got the pants, got the shirt, got the bear, bear paw on the front, so uh, looks nice. Second loadout, backbone of the Matoka is the headdress, another one with the helmet, and no mask on the front. I really wish we would get more that had the mask. We only, I think we only got like two or three of them, maybe. Total max, purple color, bright purple. This War Club, though, Spirit's Will is really cool. I really like this one. I like all of the... It just looks different. This one looks just completely different than just about every other War Club he has. So I really like that. I kind of wish it was a little bit of a different color. And um, But other than that, I mean, it looks good. And then the last one, Wisteria, is the Tomahawk. And the Tomahawk looks different, too. I don't remember seeing any that look like this. The handle looks really clean. The blade looks clean. Uh, more square, obviously, or rectangular on the end of it. So, uh, I mean, it doesn't look familiar. I don't know. There might have been one in there that we got already. And then the skin is called the Kanaha, which, as you see, bright, bright purple. Um, orange looks good i like the color scheme i just i don't know i just don't like the helmet on this skin or the um the headdress i guess as they call it but still you know the purple looks cool and then the last of the loadouts we have i like this skin i really do like this skin coyotes howl is the name of the headdress and I like this one on this skin. I don't think I'd normally like, I think a lot of the ones that are just like the helmet pieces look good with this skin. Colors look nice. I mean, yellow, cool. Diamondback, another one of the war clubs that looks pretty cool. I like the end of it, especially on the rounded part of it. It has the little spikes, which looks pretty nice. And then we got the tomahawk. Saves the best for last, man. This tomahawk is sick. I really like this one. Uh, definitely gonna go on the permanent loadout for uh, for him. I I'll probably look through all of his gear and put like my favorite pieces or whatever on there. But uh, looks really nice. I really like the eye, the dragon, the the wolf or the teeth or whatever it's supposed to be on there. But the blade, everything looks really nice. Skin is called the Bedeviled, and um, like I said, looks good. I like this skin, one of probably my favorite. And then there was another skin we got, what was it called? Tamaska, and that is down here at the bottom, I think. Yep, there is Tamaska, and like I said, just the, the headdress just doesn't look the same on this skin as it does on the other skin. Looks much better on the other one, but still this skin looks nice. I, this is probably, I think, my second favorite skin out of all of them. But uh, yeah, that is all of the gear. Every single bit of piece of gear, just like Shang Tsung, how it had, um, how it had just a ton of gear. Three separate loadouts, every single stage. Still got a ton of finishers to find though. 14 out of 21. Man, still seven finishers, but uh, we have all the cinematics. We did get one intro, one victory. All right, that's kind of cool. Got the fire side, and then we got the spirit flame. All right, I like that one even better than the Matoken heart. That one looks pretty nice. Oh, man. wow. Cut open his chest, ripped out his heart. Uh, that was pretty sweet. That is uh, his new brutality called Right Into the Heart. Wait, is it Right Into the Heart? That was pretty awesome, though. I really like that one.
All right, guys, that's going to do it for the video, man. That is all the gear for Nightwolf. We definitely have a lot of the finishers. We have seven left to get. I did see that there were some towers already in there right now, so I'll probably do those. But uh, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed, man. I do not know what's going to happen in the future. I didn't put anything in the title. I didn't put anything in the thumbnail. I didn't put anything in the description. Um... We'll see how this video goes and then we'll take it from there. I'm not really sure what's going to happen. I do. I did have fun doing it though, man. I miss this. I miss doing this stuff. But uh, yeah, they just absolutely killed my channel. Every single video they hit. But anyways, guys, hopefully everybody has a good weekend coming up. And uh, I hope to see y'all again very soon. But uh, y'all take it easy. I'm out. Peace.